Hi everyone, welcome back. And this is Friday. It's time to update you on my nail here that I had the injury and that the nail lifted off the nail bed. And it lifted like when I found out after removing product, I found out it was lifted like what down to here. So yeah, that's what it looks like on the fourth week. It's looking very good. It does still have a little splinter hemorrhage there that's going to work its way up, but it's really almost there. Just, it's so close. I mean, it's like, just has a little bit more. I'm sure by next week, it'll be back up to where it's supposed to be. And if you notice any of this white, it's just a little bit of gel that was left on there. And I had did an overlay with gelish right over top of it. And you can see where it grew out. But yeah, that's just some of the gel. I couldn't get it all off and there's no no sense of really filing all of your gel completely off, risking damage to the nail when you're just going to apply more and paint your nail. So what's who cares, you know? <laughs> but anyways, that's what it looks like so far. And I've been applying tea tree oil twice a day since I found out. And it's, yeah, back to normal just about. So yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any more d updates unless there's a drastic change in it, but I don't foresee that happening. And yeah, the nail is nice and healthy. Looks great, feels great. Okay, while you're here, I'm going to add a little tea tree oil under the nail. Let it run down in there. And that's it. Be on the lookout for a new video coming up Sunday morning. This Sunday morning, I will be doing a poly gel fade with some beautiful colors of poly gel from Savvy Land. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.